I'm excited to do this Mother's Day event today. It's a special day for me. I was raised by a single father, didn't have my mother around when I was young, but I always had a lot of special women in my life that impacted me uh, growing up. My aunt was one of those women. I grew up with her in her household. She was a migrant worker. She worked the strawberry fields and she worked long 10 hour days, rain or shine, but still come home and you know, fix, fix us all dinner. And you know, that's that spirit. I think it's just really special about the women in our community. We serve close to 500 families a week through our weekly pantry program and about a third of those families are single mothers. I thought by doing some family portraits would have been a great thing for some of these families that never have opportunity to have that. These kids, when they get older, they'll reflect on that, you know, they'll see that photo and they'll remember that time where they had to come to the St. Francis Center, they had to come to a pantry program to get help. And I think that portrait in itself will, will kind of bring strength and unity with the family. I love my mom because um, she help, she always helps me with my homework. She cares for me, she buys she makes she buys his clothes, and she wastes her money on us. and. She's really, she's really, I love her. They give a lot of things to mothers. Food, flowers, juice, cosmetics. We sure appreciate for that. I bring her here to help me volunteer and to know what this place is about to help. Give back what they give to you. Without the pantry, we will never be, some of us won't survive. I've been taking her to actions since you were like seven years old. She's been learning about issues that have to do with social justice since that age. I think the one thing I appreciate and that I've learned from her is her strength and her power, especially as a teenage mother. I grew up with her and she grew up with me and it was a lot difficult, our relationship. I grew up a very angry, um, I grew up in a very angry environment that um, made me into a very angry person. And um, I think when she was younger, she got to feel a lot of that anger and, I, and she's very compassionate. When I got shot, I was with my mom, and I know it was painful to, for her to know that something so, you know, trivial and something so small as like getting shot in a drive-by ha can have everlasting changes. I have nerve damage. I'm confined to a brace now. I can't. I have no movement, no feeling, and I know it. Like my suffering from that, so like she suffers from that. But I think if it wasn't for her strength and her ability to like be there to support me and understand what I'm going through really helped me because not a lot of people understand. What inspires me about her, especially since her um, physical abilities are challenged, is to see her do a lot of things that people that are fully capable wouldn't normally do. And just seeing how she challenges herself to go beyond what her body allows her to do, I think it's really commendable. I've been working at St. Francis for the last nine months already and um, I didn't know like the extent of what I was gonna be doing. Obviously I have to disclose my disability and that was you know something that the center really supported me and like you know not saying that I can't but saying that I can if I need to take a break take that break and that's actually what kept that has been keeping me motivated it, it makes me really proud to see the work that they're doing and how much a little center like St. Francis can like dish out you know like every little thing for St. Francis counts. <laughs> 